If all goes well, NASA's spiffy new rover will make landfall on Mars next year. Why another rover, you ask? Because this one is equipped to look directly for evidence of life on Mars. Previous rovers only looked for signs that Mars may once have been habitable. NASA successfully launched the 2020 Perseverance mission from Florida's Canaveral Air Force Station at 7.50 a.m. on July 29th. The spacecraft is carrying an orbiter, a rover, and a drone helicopter. According to NASA, the Perseverance mission will land on the Red Planet on February 18, 2021. Space.com reports the spacecraft was put on safe mode after launch because it flew into the Earth's shadow, which led to unexpected low temperatures. However, the agency said the situation is not concerning and added, the spacecraft is happy there. The spacecraft will deploy the Perseverance rover and the Ingenuity helicopter. The vehicles are to explore the Jezero crater, which was once a lake bed on Mars. The Perseverance rover's design is based on the Curiosity rover, which was launched in 2011. The Perseverance includes includes a cross-country suspension system, a plutonium power source that charges the rover's batteries, a mast with cameras and sensors, an antenna that communicates directly with Earth, and a robotic arm. The arm will use a drill to bore into the ground. The arm's X-ray and ultraviolet spectrometers will scan the soil for amino acids and fatty acids, which would imply the presence of life forms that may have existed on Mars. NASA, like the rest of us, is very keen to find out if living things ever existed on Mars. This is because the Curiosity rover dug up compounds that were definitively identified as organic chemicals. Check this out! After decades of searching for organic compounds on the Red Planet, scientists have finally been successful. Rock and soil samples taken by NASA's Curiosity rover from an ancient Martian lake bed has yielded organic molecules believed to be 3 billion years old. Organic molecules are chemical compounds that contain carbon. They can come from both living and non-living sources and are the building blocks for all life on Earth. Curiosity's sample analysis on Mars instrument heated the samples to over a thousand degrees Fahrenheit, releasing small hydrocarbons that may be fragments of bigger, more complex molecules. While the organics could have biological sources, NASA says they are just as likely to have merged from geological processes or from a meteor crashing into the planet. Still, the discovery of the molecules sheds light on the planet's history, painting a picture of an ancient Mars that had favorable conditions for life. It likewise spurs on future explorations, with both NASA and the European Space Agency developing new technologies to search for signs of life. The new mission will bring Perseverance on a hunt for fossils. NASA plans to send its Mars 2020 rover to search for signs of ancient life on Mars' Jezero crater. In a news release, the space agency pointed to a recent study published in the journal Icarus, which identified mineral deposits called carbonates along the crater's inner rim. The study says that a lake was at the site of the Martian crater more than 3.5 billion years ago. NASA says its Mars 2020 rover will collect rock core samples from the Martian surface, noting that carbonates on the crater could be preserving signs of past life. Scientists say these mineral deposits could also reveal how the red planet evolved from having liquid water and a thicker atmosphere to a cold, dry desert. Carbonate minerals are formed as carbon dioxide and water interact with one another. NASA also pointed to another study which found hydrated silica minerals that are also capable of preserving ancient life on the edge of the Jezero crater. This could be an ideal location for the Mars 2020 rover to search for buried microbial fossils, especially if the minerals are located at the crater's bottom layer. NASA's Mars 2020 rover will be launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida in 2020. The Mars 2020 mission is part of a larger project by NASA that includes lunar missions in order to prepare humans to eventually explore the Red Planet. Perseverance will be tasked with analyzing soil samples from Mars. To do that, the rover is armed with a fairly powerful laser to vaporize the rocks it harvests. In a study published in Astrobiology, astrobiologists at Washington State University and Technische Universität in Berlin say NASA's Curiosity rover found organic compounds called thiophenes in soil samples that may have been produced by bacteria. The rover's instruments break down larger molecules and scientists can only examine chemical fragments. This means they cannot rule out a non-biological origin for the thiophenes, according to a press release from Washington State University. On Earth, thiophenes are found in coal, crude oil, and white truffles. A thiophene molecule has four carbon atoms, 
and a sulfur atom that can make up a ring. Carbon and sulfur are essential elements to living organisms. The thiophene could be non-biological or bacterial in origin, but the evidence is not conclusive for either case. The study's authors say that bacteria may have existed when Mars was hotter and wetter three billion years ago. Some of those bacteria may have played a role in the sulfate reduction that transforms sulfur to thiophenes. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.